Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we got something different. I put down my spray guns today, got the truck, trailer, and I'm heading to the auction to pick up a new daily build for myself. We bought a car, it had a little collision. We're gonna go pick it up, get it back to the shop. What we bought, I haven't seen it, just pictures. We're gonna do the whole process A to Z. You guys will kind of see a little little extra in this episode it's been like a good year since i bought something from the auction mainly i've been focusing on the paint department i've been out of the game for a little bit so it's time to get back into it i'm gonna go drive down to fontana pick up my car see what i got little progress report on the Honda Civic I got my used suspension this is the old one it's already out the car was sitting here for a couple days I was waiting on the suspension from the junkyard I just got the complete thing instead of ordering piece by piece that way I can just put it in along with the axle so installed everything wheels looking pretty straight so I think pretty much just the lower control arm took the hit and then it broke the knuckle and then ripped the axle out. So I'm gonna hook up the trailer, we're gonna unload the car and then we can get inside and assess all the damage. I know for a fact I'm gonna need a new fender and a new door and then the bumper's fine, just has a little scratch. Oh and uh, can't replace the used suspension without getting a knuckle buster. That's uh, mandatory let's hook it up In today's video, I'm gonna be a little more hands-on. I'm gonna get my hands dirty and I'm gonna take this car apart myself, fix everything and paint it, put it back together and make it look like new. Let's take a look at the damage, what we got. The front bumper just got some scrapes. I think there's a bracket underneath here that's bent, but I don't see a damage to the bumper itself. It just looks like the grill popped out. Uh, the hood got a couple dings here and there, so we're gonna repair the hood. We got a new fender, new door. We're gonna repair the rocker molding, and then we're gonna replace the mirror, uh, repair the rear door. Got a little ding there as well, and the quarter panel. So pretty minor, nothing, nothing too bad. Trunk, back looks good. This whole side looks good. The interior is gonna need some extra love. Should be a nice quick fix. Let's get it inside and get it torn apart. Okay, this door is pushed forward so it doesn't close. You can see on the hinges it moved forward and up. This tells me that the hit came from here. So somebody hit it going past it or something. Otherwise, if it got hit this way, the door would be... There would be a small gap here instead of a big one. But here we have a big one, so we're just going to install the new door and put the hinges back in its proper place and then to get to here i'm going to take the fender off now
adjusted my hinges to the old spots. Now I'm gonna try and test fit the door. Fitted the fender and the door. Everything's looking beautiful. Look at these gaps. Everything's nice and straight. Factory gaps. So yeah, ready to jam the doors. All right, so we got brand new fender and door from the dealer. I prepped the parts, cleaned them, got them in the booth. So let's shoot some sewer base coat, clear coat on the gems, and tomorrow we'll install the parts. All right, so my door and fender is jammed. Everything is dry, so now I can go ahead and install it on the car. Time to work on the Civic. I got it back in the shop. Everything is primed. Got my hood here, door. So now transfer everything to the new door. Take off the door panel, take out the window. So then that way I can transfer all the internals to this door, install it on the car, and then install the fender. All right, so I transferred everything to the new door, the wire harness, the lock. So now I'm gonna attach the door. Beautiful. All right, the Honda Civic is prepped and cleaned, ready to go. I'm ready to put it in the booth and start masking. I blocked all the primer areas with 320 and then went over everything with 600 grit DA. Pretty much gonna paint the whole entire sides and the whole entire hood. We're gonna refinish the rear bumper, front bumper, and the side skirt separately. For now, we're just gonna do the car. I'm gonna use rubbing alcohol and go over all my edges where I'm gonna be masking. That way my tape will stick. Let's mask it up real quick and get to the good part, the paint part. Three, two, one. All right, good to go. Everything's masked up, looking nice and clean. So I'm gonna go get my spray gun, get my paint. Let's get it started. Since I didn't put any sealer, I don't like to go too heavy on the first coat. Otherwise I get sometimes a little reactions here and there. So you kind of almost do like a fine mist coat to make sure the paint adheres good to the panels and then second third coat you can go heavy so let's do it
So one thing to keep in mind whenever painting two or three panels is to try to not stop on the, on the ends here. Instead, you gotta go past the line so then you don't have extra buildup around the sides. A lot of cars I see that are painted elsewhere, they'll have a lot of buildup around the sides. They'll paint it panel to panel, so, and then they'll stop. So each time you paint the rear door, you move on to the front door and do the same thing. And every time you're stopping here and going back, you're going to get a lot of buildup. So every time I paint, I try and go past the panel. For example, this car. So I went from the beginning of the fender to about middle of the door. So then that way I don't stop in the middle of the crack. And then my second pass, I'll start from the middle of the door and go towards the middle of this door. And then same thing here is I'll go from the middle of the rear door all the way to the end of the panel. That way I'm not stopping twice on each panel and building up the edges because by the time you get two, three coats of base, two coats of clear, especially clear, you don't want to build up the paint around the edges. So one thing to keep in mind if you're a painter, very important, it'll keep your jobs looking a lot cleaner and less detectable. So we're going to let that dry. When it starts going matte, I know it's dry, so I'm going to turn the airflow on and then let that dry. You can see around the edges it's starting to go matte, so that's how we know it's dry. So yeah, once I turn the booth on and the airflow starts going, it's gonna start drying a lot quicker. So yeah, little tip for you guys when painting two or three panels, try not to stop on the, stop on the ends of each panel. Instead, go past the lines. That way you don't get that extra buildup. All right, our base coat is dry. You can see the car is completely matte. So I'm going to do one more coat the same way. And then we're going to do our control coat and we'll be ready to clear. Control coat is very important because it's going to align all the metallics properly. It's going to get rid of all the uneven paint and it's going to lay out everything silky smooth. So right now, that's normal. First coat, you never want to go for coverage on the very first coat. But once you get your second coat down, it should look 95% good. So then control coat will even out the rest of the metallics and it's going to look super, super good. So this is what it's looking like. Let's do our second coat and we're almost done. Almost time for clear. Okay, our second coat of base is dry. Everything's looking a lot better, more uniform. So we're ready for our last control coat. So it's pretty much perfect, but then the control coat is just gonna seal the deal. Uh, the first two coats I paint at 20 PSI. And then control coat, you wanna drop the PSI to about 16 and then back away from the panel and do a lot closer overlap, about like 90, 80 to 90% overlap.
All right, it's the next day. My car is painted, it's dry, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to start unmasking it and pull it out. But first, let's take a quick look and see how it turned out. So that is gonna be it for part one of our video. The body's painted, so it's time to move on to the bumpers, the rocker, and then putting it back together. So in part two, we're gonna paint the rest of the parts, put the car back together, detail it, and we'll get it ready to go. So stay tuned, you guys don't wanna miss the final product. If you like this kind of content and wanna see more, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment below. So that is gonna be it for today. I will see you guys on the next one.